Alright, so this is my Chines Yamakami um, Specialized Goza Cutter. Um, my friend Patrick bought a big piece of Samagawa, and after I wrapped his, there was enough left over that I could do mine. And uh, so now my Chinesse has a full wrap on it. If I can get my seam. It's right there. And it wasn't big enough right here. So there's one little triangle that's not the same. But I have it perfectly seamed up so like you can't even really see it and it won't you know you won't be able to see it in the diamonds all right um, so I polished it and took that fake moan off of it because it's you know, through tempered or mono temper. So let it be what it is. And I tried to polish out that fake Kasaki too, because it was just ground in. You know, it's not real. Make it sharper, polish it out. I made a stand. Um, this blade is probably two or three times sharper now than when it was sent to me. He polished the hibaki up real nice. Um, I don't know what color Edo I'm going to get for it. And I haven't put my pegs back in. There it sits. And there's my box. you can tell or not but I re-sculpted the handle on here if you, can, if you can tell but it's hipped it's a hell of a lot thinner this handle was so gommy and, and round and it just felt so gross you know like it just made the, the sword feel so dull and uh even though the blade is sweet, I love it. I love the geometry and how it cuts and everything, but yeah, it was wicked bad. Let me show you. This is how much wood I took off of that handle. I used a, a bastard rasp, but can you believe that that's how much came off to make this thing make the suba feel like it fit in your hand right you know it's just crazy but 